Okay, so we're going to take a look at an experiment to determine the focal length of a convex lens. So that's a converging lens. So, talking into this, the first thing we want to do is make sure to get an approximation for the focal length. And we're going to do that by focusing on a faraway object, uh, as shown there in the diagram. Why do we do this? Well, very simply, we want to ensure the object is outside the focal point. If it's inside the focal point, it'll do a virtual image which won't form on a screen. Secondly, it's really good to have an idea of what the answer should be before you crack into an experiment. Okay, for this experiment, you're going to need a faraway object. So I'm just taking outside there, the rooftops. You're going to need a screen. And finally, you'll need a lens. So the intent here is very similar to the last experiment or the previous one where we had a concave mirror, but this time we're using a lens. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to form an image on the screen. So what I have here is I've got the lens, the screen, and obviously the object, which is outside. So while my camera here focuses in, um, you can see here, if I adjust, I'll get a sweet spot where it's nice and clear of an outside image. So I think that's kind of as clear as I can get it. And hopefully you can see, oops, that there we go, looks pretty good of an outside image, right? Uh, seeing the rooftop there. And you can adjust it accordingly. And you're trying to get a sharp, focused image. Once you feel you have a sharp, focused image, you're going to measure the distance between the lens and the screen between the lens and the screen, so the image distance. And the image distance should be approximately your focal length. And that's it for finding the approximate focal length of a convex lens. But why though? Well, if you're curious, you can see why we do this in the previous video I did on the focal length of a concave mirror, where I've included a link here, assuming I figure out how to do that. So for this experiment, we're going to need a setup of a object, a light source, a convex lens, and finally a screen. Uh, with the images there, the object distance being U and the image distance being V. So in this setup, we're going to have a object or a light source. We're going to have a convex lens, and then we're going to have a screen. And in this case, I'm using the wall as a screen because it's just convenient, but uh, you can obviously use a piece of paper. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust uh, either the screen or, well, I can't adjust the wall, but adjust the screen or the mirror till we get a sharp focused image on the wall. So as you can see over here, I'm getting the nice letter F. And where when you decide it's sharp and focused is quite subjective. And now it's not great to see it in the camera here, but you'll kind of notice that you'll find a sweet spot where you seem to be getting a good, nice image that's not blurry at the sides. And I'm going to say it's here for argument's sake. Okay. So... Uh, once you've done that, you're going to measure two distances. We're going to measure the distance from the uh, lens to the object. So this is the object distance. Okay. And then from the lens to the screen, this is the image distance. Right. Make sure to measure to the center of the lens. Okay. And to measure to the back of the uh, like the back of the screen, in this case, just measuring to the wall, if you've got a bit of a, a, a sideways uh, screen. So what are we measuring again? We're measuring the object distance, that's from the object to the lens, and then we're measuring the image distance, that's from the lens to the wall. Once we've done that, you can uh, readjust, so maybe just, in this case, I'll move my object, say, closer. You'll see it's blurry. So now I need to readjust this lens until I get a nice, sharp, focused image. And you might have to play with it. And if it doesn't work out for you, then my advice is to adjust it again or adjust the object. And there we go. I moved the object back. It was just a bit easier. And I get a nice image there. I think that's fairly sharp. And once I'm happy with that, I take the image distance and the object distance one more time. Keep doing that until you get five or six results and then plot them on a graph. Okay, so uh, just before we crack into anything else, uh, precautions and errors. Sharp focused image, that's what you want to have. Uh, you want to measure to the center of the lens, not the edge. It's kind of fat at the edges, so to the center of the convex lens. And obviously avoid parallax error in measuring anything uh, with a ruler. Now, am I going to do the calculations in graph? The answer is no. No, I'm not. Because I've already done all this previously in the video for a concave mirror, which I'll include a link in here, assuming I figure out how to do that. So go check that out. The maths is the same, the calculations is the same, 
Um, if you're looking for two years to try, you can take a look at 2009 higher level question two or 2003 higher level question three. Those two years are ones that you could knock out. Best of luck.